are we all related? Recently, I did a DNA test with Ancestry. There are other benefits to having a test done apart from getting insights into your ethnicity. You can also build your family tree in an organized way with document search, records from around the world, photos, and, and more. There's another tool Ancestry offers when you take a test. There is a section called DNA Matches. They will match your DNA with others that have taken the test, and those people will range from close family, second cousins, third cousins, and beyond. We'll go back to the DNA matches in a moment. Here's the mathematical issue with descendants going back in time. We have two biological parents, four grandparents, then eight great-grandparents. The numbers of ancestors you're related to continues to double going back. In a video by Vsauce, he mentions if we follow our line back to ancient Romans about 64 generations ago, our tree would have one quintillion separate people. But that would be a number that is larger than the people that have ever lived. Now that is a problem. But there is a thing called pedigree collapse. In genealogy, pedigree collapse describes how reproduction between two individuals who share an ancestor causes the number of distinct ancestors in the family tree of their offspring to be smaller than it could otherwise be. In other words, close relatives marrying reduces the number of ancestors, so the mathematical problem can be explained by sharing ancestors going back in time. Back to the DNA matches. This is the DNA matches page and one can scroll on and on to view other people that have tested that also match with your DNA. All these people have a common ancestor in one form or another. Meaning, you share DNA going back in time, be it close or distant, you have a common family tree link. Here are just a few of the surnames from people that show up on my DNA matches result. The list continues, but I think the point is made. We are connected to a lot of people in a very real and genetic way. Also keep in mind, these are only those people that have tested through the Ancestry site at this moment. In my case, I currently have 13,677 matches. In a paper published in 1999 by Joseph Chang, a statistician at Yale University, analyzed this tapestry mathematically and concluded that we all share a common ancestor. Indeed, as we move back in time, the number of common ancestors of the living population increases until the point where all individuals who have any descendants among the present-day individuals are actually ancestors of all present-day individuals. Also in this article we read, but when we get to 40 generations ago, in the time of Charlemagne, we arrive at a trillion ancestors, and that is a problem because we now have more ancestors than there were people. Thus one can deduce that a lot of those ancestors must be the same person. At first it does look like a tree with the branches doubling every generation, but then pretty soon the branches start running into one another and it begins to resemble more of a web-like tapestry as distant cousins marry and share a set of distant grandparents, he said. That means that although hardly anyone marries their cousin in Western Europe, many people are unwittingly marrying their 30th cousin. So are we all related? It seems to be the case as science stands at the moment. The alternative would be a mathematical problem. Judging from the list of DNA matches in my case, it does give one a sense of wonder to think about the whole topic. What are your thoughts on the topic? Do you have information that is not covered here? We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll catch you next time.